Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for today's video. Today I thought it would be fun to flip through all of my mermaid sketches for 2021. Uh, I took this opportunity to sketch um, in multiple sketchbooks or paper using multiple media. So I really wanted to take this opportunity to experiment and try different styles, different techniques and all sorts of things. So um, let's jump right into it. So this is just a little moleskin sketchbook. This is just a, um, a drawing sketchbook. This is not a watercolor one, but it held up surprisingly well to using watercolor in here. So for this painting, I used watercolor, Copic markers, um, gouache paint, Posca pens, and um, some white gel pens, I think, for that one, and the Copic multi-liners as well. So, um, to be honest, I wasn't really 100% happy with this painting, mainly because of her face. Um, it's very hard trying to draw something so small, trying to get the kind of detail that I like to get in some of my pieces. So that was, um, this is a bit challenging. And I had the same issue when it came to this painting here as well. Um, this one took a surprising amount of time to complete as well, considering it was such a small... Um, sketch so same with the face like when it's sort of the size of your fingernail it's really hard to try and get that kind of detail that I would like to get um, but you know I still had a lot of fun uh, things I'm learning about myself is I really don't like drawing this small so um, I'm not sure how much I'll be filling this sketchbook up I'll try so I'm not wasting it but um, it's really hard when you just don't enjoy the process of working in the size sketchbook um, but we'll see we'll see how we go um, so this one I used watercolor um, uh, Copic markers Posca paint pens white gel pens on the little bubbles um, yeah let's open that one this one here is a mermaid version of Bailey Sarian you might know her from YouTube um, she has a makeup channel. She does a series called Murder Mystery Makeup Mondays and I had been sort of binging her channel for a bit so I decided to make it uh, Murder Mystery Makeup and Mermaid Monday. So that was a lot of fun to create. I used Copic markers um, predominantly for this piece and used a little bit of watercolour in the background and I did use some metallic paints, um, the Fine Tech paints on her tail. And uh, just trying to think if I used colored pencils on this one. I don't think I did. I think it was just that. And I added a bit of glitter to her eyeshadow there. Um, she was a lot of fun to paint. Yeah. So that's all for the moleskin sketchbook. My next sketchbook here is a Stillman and Burn toned gray sketchbook. Um, I did three mermaids in this one. For this piece here I used charcoal, white charcoal and some white gel pen to get some of those little details in. I just love how the white sort of, because you've established that sort of mid-tone with having grey paper already, how the white just seems to like pop off the page. I just love that. Um, I used the same materials for this mermaid as well. And for this one, I used some Ohuhu alcohol markers. Um, a same sort of thing. I just love how you can build. I used some Posca paint pens um, to add some depth, adding the light, like all of those little highlights. It just seems to really pop off the page. So I really want to use this sketchbook more. I want to do more marker art and just generally more art in this book. So that's all for that one for now. This one here is the Strathmore Visual Journal Mixed Media. It's 100% cotton. This is actually one of my favorite sketchbooks. However, I only did one <laughs> illustration from Mermaid in this one, um, which was this one here. I did film the process of this, so I will probably make a video out of it. Um, let me know in the comments below if that is something you would like to see from me. Um, this one was used, uh, created using Copic markers, watercolors, colored pencils and Posca pens um, and a metallic pen on her little um, band thingy there. Um, yeah, I 
use some blue colored pencil to create some highlights on the skin. I really liked the look of that. And uh, you can see that little shimmer in the armband there. Um, I, because she's so sort of vertical and doesn't take up the whole page, I thought she would make a really fun bookmark. So I kind of turned her into a bookmark digitally as well. So it's just something a bit of fun to do with that. <laughs> Okay, now we move on to all of the other pieces I created and all of these were done either digitally or with alcohol markers on Copic um, Express It blending cardstock. So let's dive right into these ones. So this one here was created digitally in Procreate on the iPad Pro. Um, this one was also drawn from my imagination. I didn't use any reference for this one. I was trying to challenge myself in many ways this month. This one was done with Copic markers on the Express It blending cardstock, and I just used a little bit of white gel pen just for some little highlights. This one was also drawn from my imagination, no reference. Um, this was Copic markers, and I also used some Fine Tech um, metallic. Uh, metallic paints, they're uh, mica paints, and I used a bit of glitter on this one as well. I also filmed the process of this one so I can make a video out of that too if you'd like to see that. Um, I loved the rainbow hair, <laughs> I was really happy with that. This one here is um, another mixed media piece, this is on Archer's hot press watercolour paper, it's quite thin. Um, I ended up purchasing this because Originally I had uh, drawn this on watercolour paper and I had uh, painstakingly lined the entire thing using Copic Multiliners and had started painting it and I'd used masking fluid and it completely ruined my paper after I'd added the background in. So I was really grateful that I had scanned this ahead of time. So I actually printed this on the arches hot press watercolour paper, that's why it's not very thick, um, and was able to try again. So I avoided using any masking <laughs> fluid this time, but I created the background with uh, watercolour. There's actually some coloured pencil on there as well, and I used Copic markers and Posca paint pens um, for the mermaid herself. So it's all about sort of adapting when when you can. This was another Copic marker piece and I did use a bit of um, metallic paints I've actually used on some of the bubbles um, to add some little scales to her face and to her mermaid ear here um, and her eyeshadow. This was another one where I didn't use a reference either. When I say I use reference, for example this one I used a photo reference, um, when I say that, what I mean is I do the initial sketch using a photo as a really rough guide um, and then I never refer to it again um, for like these illustration type mermaids. Um, so basically just to get the pose of the top half of her body and then the rest I've just colors, the shading, everything is from my imagination after that. So just for the initial sketch. But some of them like this one, I had nothing. I just sketched it and went with it. This one here is one that was done in Procreate on the iPad Pro again, another digital piece. This was using a digital um, charcoal brush set. I was quite happy with how this one turned out as well. Again, experimenting with different styles. This one is very cartoony, obviously. Um, I use Copic markers for this one and some Posca paint pens for the scales. And yeah, I tried to, I tried to simplify. Like I said, I was just taking the opportunity to experiment with different styles and mediums. Um, one thing I did here was add some. Uh, highlights in the skin by using a blue Copic marker so I had to do that first so I could sort of put in my highlights and then um, 
add in the skin tone so that was a fun challenge having two very different colors right next to one another that was a lot of fun um, and I really like the look of that this one here um, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook um, you might know that the background is actually different in the image that I posted there um, I actually imported this into Procreate and added a digital background so it was just like a blue watercolor kind of background um, but this itself is done with Copic markers and a little bit of white gel pen that's it and same sort of thing I was trying to add some contrasting colors by having the orange and the blue and I've put the blue like right in through her hair um, right up against that orange so that was an interesting challenge there again but I was having a lot of fun experimenting with that this one here is another Copic piece. Um, this is like a reimagining of an old, older mermaid drawing from, I think it was 2018. Um, same sort of thing. I just roughly, like loosely referred to the original drawing I had done, changed it up. Uh, I again, was trying to go for that blue and orange contrast. I've done like a little blue ombre in her hair. Um, yep, that was all alcohol markers or Copic markers and just a tiny bit of white gel pen another Copic piece um, I had a friend of mine who's also uh, into art she's a fantastic um, artist she come over and hung out with me we were just having like a movie and art day and she suggested this sort of color um, combination to me the the orange yellow peach kind of pinky combination so that was a lot of fun um, to create this one and a different friend <laughs> had suggested this color combination to me so having the green to the purple to the blue and I tried to carry that out throughout the entire mermaid um, this one here and this was another interesting thing about sort of adapting to the materials or trying to find ways to fix stuff if you have stuff go wrong on you um, this particular painting uh, I used I think it was a mixed media paper um, and for the most part for the first sort of little bit of layering of watercolor it held up fine and then either it went nope can't handle any more of that it started to put all these really weird marks throughout my paper there was like all these little lines everywhere and it just wasn't the look I was going for so I had to think about how I would try and fix that and I ended up using some pan pastels and going over the entire background um, to smooth that out and get rid of those lines that I didn't want there so um, sometimes it's good to have a few different media options that way um, you can adapt and make changes or fix things I, I certainly didn't want to start this one again um, this one I used watercolor and I used a bit of uh, colored pencils on this one and some uh, white gel pen. White gel pen is a very handy thing to have on hand. Another digital piece for this one here. I used um, some watercolor brushes and some other um, like airbrush type things. Um, tried to make it look kind of like maybe she's transforming from a uh, mermaid to human or vice versa and um, we'd love to hear how you interpret this piece um, my mind I have some ideas about what this represents but I always love to hear what people think when they look at my work my friend's daughter said she was cold <laughs> I thought that was really funny um, she's three so uh, she sees things how they are probably she probably was cold <laughs> this one here is another alcohol marker piece um, and I actually used a bit of pan pastel just to smooth out in the sky or just to lighten it it had gotten a little bit wasn't smoothing it out because coping markers are quite smooth um, it was to lighten it a bit I had, it was a little bit darker than what I wanted it to be so I just kind of used a white pastel a pan pastel and just went over the um, entire sky just to soften it and it was much um, more what I wanted it to be 
Uh, and I just was having fun just doing rainbow hair. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. This one here was another one where I used some Archer's Hot Press uh, watercolour paper. And I used watercolour and I used a bit of alcohol markers. Um, and a bit of coloured pencil on this one as well. This is my probably my favourite mermaid amongst all the mermaids I did this month. This one here is done in Procreate uh, on the iPad Pro. Um, I can make a video out of the process of this one as well. This one started off in quite a different direction than the final piece. It was actually vertical and her tail was straight and I just once I'd started painting it I just really wasn't happy with how it was coming out and I wanted to add in this like water reflections um, and it you know required sort of altering the direction of the piece um, I think that's the beauty of digital is that you really have that option of mixing it up as you're going along you can make changes you can save your original and compare afterwards but um, it's really nice to be able to have that option to mix it up so yeah I made her tail curly and a bit more dynamic range that way and yeah had her going uh, vertically instead of horizontally so yeah probably my favorite I'd love to hear if you have a favorite amongst these or um, yeah any feedback would be lovely this one here is overwhelmingly green because I decided to participate in the um, Copic Marker AU um, colour challenge for the month of May, which was green, Copic green. Um, so I used various green Copic markers to create this piece. And the only other colour I used was some purple in these flowers here. I tried to, I really tried to keep everything just green, um, but I thought the flowers might look a bit like cabbages if I... <laughs> I use just green on them I tried to make them really pale um, and I, in the end I ended up adding a bit of purple just to create that little bit of color contrast and I used some fine tech gold metallic mica paints um, just on the little gold dots in the centers of the flowers but other than that it's all just green Copic markers and a little bit of white gel pen but overall I was really quite happy with the design of this one. Another alcohol marker piece and some white gel pen. I tried to sort of do a stormy sky in the background. Um, and was really just having a lot of fun mixing it up with the different colours. Like I would normally not do something so bright like this tail. So that was a lot of fun. Just, just letting loose and just enjoying creating and using different colors and, and trying stuff that I normally wouldn't and I love the color of the hair and the eyes just something a little bit different or different for me anyway same with this one I just using really bright colors this one I actually did I think with Ohuhu uh, brush markers um, yeah doing the really bright green sort of tail and then the bright magenta pink hair um, I really wish I had referred back to a reference for this fish, but I didn't. Um, but you get the idea of what it's supposed to be. I wanted to create a little fishy friend for her, and I used some fine tech gold on him as well. I can get the camera to pick up the metallic shimmer at all. Sorry, it's really hard to capture. It's quite pretty in real life. Um, This one here is interesting because it was kind of like that other blue and orange mermaid where I did this with Copic markers, um, but I wanted to add a background. So I imported it into Procreate and added a background in digitally. I wanted to have some sort of seaweed and and to make it make her kind of like a magical mermaid. So yeah, um, it's wonderful age of technology in regards to art where you can do mock-ups and you can experiment and um, 
or, or combine them. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And this is the last mermaid that I did for um, Mermaid 2021. This was another one where I didn't use a reference. Um, so I was pretty happy with that pose um, for me trying to draw stuff out of my head in an illustrative manner. Um, and I really liked the color combination. So yeah, this is a lot of fun. And I really enjoyed doing Mermaid this year. There are pros and cons, I think. Um, one con for me is that um, because you are creating something every day and you're trying to create a finished illustration, um, trying to come up with a story, I, most of mine are really just the mermaids on their own because I just don't have the capacity to um, create full fleshed out story illustrations. Um, by the time you do your sketch, you refine it, you do your line work, you um, render it however you are coloring it in um, it is quite the process so it is really difficult to try and get something done every day um, on the same token I again I really enjoyed the process because it I was experimenting with all different mediums and different styles and um, yeah I I still had a lot of fun doing it but I think the quality isn't there on some of them that possibly could have been if I had given or allowed myself more time um, to do them um, so yeah that's the end of Mermaid 2021 um, I hope you've enjoyed the video thank you for watching to the end if you did uh, if you would like to see more content from me please hit like and subscribe and if you have any questions please feel free to leave them down in the comments below if you did have a favorite I would love to hear which one was your favorite or if you participated um, you know, I'd love to hear your thoughts on, on Mermaid, um, what materials you used or if you mix it up like I did. Um, this is not the end of me drawing mermaids for this year. I will actually be working on a uh, collaboration with a writer on doing a children's book. So I'll be drawing a lot more mermaids. So this was really good for me to be doing this because um, it allowed me to experiment and try and sort of figure out how I want to approach the mermaids for this book so um, that also might mean I'm a little bit absent here and there working on that um, but I will try my best to continue making videos and making art um, for here I've been trying to do a real-time tutorial series um, using watercolors a lot of landscapes and seascapes and that kind of thing so there'll be more of those videos coming um, I've got one lined up for June um, but yeah I'm going to try my best to still create content as much as I can so um, if if there is particular things that you want to see from me please let me know in the comments below I do want to create content that um, that wants to be seen on this channel so um, I like my stuff to be useful and helpful so hence the tutorials and that kind of thing so anyway thank you for listening to my rambling and I hope you enjoyed the video and if you participated in mermaid I hope you enjoyed that and if not I hope you enjoyed seeing all the mermaids in your social media feeds um, thanks again for watching I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.